Responding to Georgia Congressman John Lewis's assertion that his presidency was not legitimate, Mr. Trump tweeted this yesterday. Congressman John Lewis should spend more time on fixing and helping his district, which is in horrible shape and falling apart, not to mention crime infested. Rather than falsely complaining about the election results, all talk, 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 no action or results. Sad. Well, now the Democrats are fundraising over the feud and are unleashing a Twitter firestorm this morning with people like New York Congressman Yvette Clark tweeting this. Cowardly Donald Trump isn't fit to polish hero John's boots. So is this backlash fair? Here for a fair and balanced debate this morning, Democratic strategist Danielle McLaughlin and former national spokesperson for the Trump campaign, Katrina Pearson. Danielle, anytime I hear that people are now fundraising on the backs of something, my you know antenna go up. Uh, like a grasshopper. And it seems to me this was all some sort of larger plan. Do you buy, do you buy the argument, is, Don, is John Lewis untouchable? John Lewis is an American hero, and Democrats are fundraising on this because what Donald Trump did is completely and utterly unacceptable. This is a man who had his skull broken. Uh, this is a man who marched on Selma. This is a man who had a bus firebombed so that we could be more free and more equal. This is a man who stands for American values. And what he's talking about when he talks about the legitimacy of this election is the involvement of a foreign state that favored Donald Trump to win the election. He has a freedom of, he has a First Amendment right to say what he thinks. And what, what happened here was that Donald Trump blew it. He blew it big time because what he could have said was, I understand what is going on. And he could have reached out to, uh, to Mr. Lewis, to Representative Lewis, and extended an olive branch. But instead, he just slammed him. And I think Katrina, it was a huge Katrina, wasted your, opportunity. Your response to this, Katrina? Uh, well, you know, one of the things that she left out about John Lewis is the fact that he attacked Donald Trump. And Donald Trump also has a First Amendment right to defend himself. So this criticism is not fair. Um, and it's never supposed to be fair for Republicans because Republicans are supposed to sit down, shut up, and be publicly humiliated and never defend themselves. And all that changed when Donald Trump entered the arena, who has said several times, if you attack me, I will hit you back. That's exactly what happened here. But this is what Democrats do. They pick a fight and they play the victim, and that's all that's happening here. Uh, Daniel, here's a, what Piers Morgan had to say. He came to Trump's defense in this. He said, John Lewis trashes Trump as illegitimate president, so Trump has a pop back, but only Trump is the villain? Am I missing something here? You know, you bring up his civil rights legacy. Donald Trump didn't mention that at all, and you brought up the evidence of the illegitimacy by foreign governments interfering in our election, and yet there's no evidence that that swayed the election. So what is he talking about? Well, first thing, uh, what the IC found was that that was not what they looked into. So the reporting uh, in the intelligence community didn't look at whether it was swung or not by the Russian involvement. The other thing that we think we, I think we need to talk about is the fact that Donald Trump spent eight years trying to delegitimize de President Obama, uh, number one, uh, looking for birth certificates. And when the birth certificate was produced, then it was, it was false. So I think what Trump is, has lost here, it's not only moral authority, because he stood on the sidelines and tried to delegitimize the current president, but he's losing political capital. He needs so Democrats this, to do what he needs to get done. So, Katrina, is Daniel's arguing this is payback then, Donald Trump's birther movement, then this is just simply payback for the illegitimacy that Trump was trying to, to foist about his, uh, President Obama. This is, this is absolutely payback, uh, but I'll have to disagree. This doesn't hurt Donald Trump's political clout, he actually gains simply because he is someone that is standing up for himself. But let's talk about the, the illegitimate claim here with some regard to Russia. I mean, it wasn't Russia that told Hillary Clinton to set up a secret server. It wasn't Russia that put tens of thousands of people all over this country in stadiums for Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton couldn't even fill a high school. Beyonce and Jay-Z couldn't even bring the types of crowd that Donald Trump had all over this country. What you yeah. are doing, what they are doing, is besmirching the American public and these election results because John Lewis, of all people, should know that maybe they didn't support Hillary Clinton. After all, he's the one that dumped Clinton in 2008 for Obama. So why is it all of a sudden a problem when other people do it too? Danielle, Katrina, we appreciate you debating this this morning. Thanks so much.